Hi guys, so I've just pulled up at the showground here where I live. There is actually a two-day saddlery tack haul kind of thing on um, here at the moment and it is by Goodwoods. If you're in Australia, you would probably know who Goodwoods are. If you don't, um, just yeah, Google search them. I think it's just goodwoods.com.au. They are an, um, a saddlery store and they have heaps of great bargains. And yeah, they're down here for a two-day sale, so I'm just about to go and check that out. Goodwood sale. Um, I got a pair of jodhpurs, a cotton leaf rope, and a, like a gel girth um, for seventy dollars. So I'm really, really chuffed with that. I've just arrived at Horseland, and I'm gonna run in there and just grab a few things that I couldn't get from the Goodwood sale um, that I need to get this bike. So I'm just about to do that now. I don't know if I'll let me walk in there. Um, if they do, then I will. But if not, then I'll just show you to you guys what I got when I get to the fender. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a really exciting video for you today. It is a bit of a vlog slash tack haul. Um, as you would have seen in the clips just before this, I um, went to the Goodwood sale in Maitland and I went to my local horse lane and I picked up some more stuff for Spike, which I seem to be doing really regularly lately. So I just wanted to take you through all of the stuff that I so the first place that I went to was the Goodwood sale which is on today and tomorrow by the time you guys see these it will have well been over so don't bother checking um, yeah the first thing that I got at the Goodwood sale was this uh, new lead rope in royal blue it is a two meter lead rope and it was four dollars which is an absolute bargain the next thing that I picked up from the Goodwood sale was a pair of horse sport uh, breeches and they are just in the cream colour. I don't know if you guys can see much of that but they're a really nice stretchy cotton material and they have the knee um, part here. They're not the sticky ones so I'm not too sure how I'm going to like them. Um, but they were reduced to $30, so I thought that I would just grab myself a pair to add to my collection and see whether I like them or not because they were cheap as chips. So yeah, I grabbed those. And the last thing that I picked up from, from the Goodwood sale was this uh, girth. It is a horse with a Z. You would probably all know that brand. Um, girth and it is the all-around girth in this smooth style and it kind of feels a bit like it may have like a gel insert in it um, which I really liked and was the main reason that I picked this up so it's yeah it's just black um, and then it's got buckles twin buckles at either end um, which have the horse sort of logo printed into them there I don't know if you guys will be able to see that um, I don't know how much this retails for regularly, 
but I got it from the sale for $39, which I thought was an absolute steal considering how much gel girths usually retail for. Um, so yeah, I don't know if it's going to fit. It was the only one they had and I didn't want to miss out on it, so I kind of just winged it. Um, I think it's 110 centimeters, so it should be plenty big enough, but we will have to try it on. I'm actually really excited because the saddle fitter is coming out next week to finally fit Spike's new um, Wintech light saddle to him. I've had it for since March because I got it for my birthday. So I've had it since March and I still haven't had it fitted. So I'm finally getting the saddle fitter out to do that and yeah, we'll be able to try this out then. After I went to Goodwoods, I drove down to Horseland um, in Maitland and I picked up a few things there that I wanted to get for Spike. I was out at him the other day, I noticed that he was still shedding part of his winter coat. Um, so I wanted to pick up some more grooming stuff for him. So the first thing that I got was this Hoss Gloss um, medicated shampoo because I did notice that he um, was losing quite a bit of hair on his withers and I wasn't sure if it was maybe like a fungal or bacterial kind of thing so I thought I would just pick this up and use this on him just in case he does have anything this should knock it on the head. Um, I know I did pick up the clean sheen from there the other day but it's not medicated and I definitely wanted to use something medicated just in case it was a fungal thing because he has had um, scald before and that's kind of what it looks like but it hasn't been wet so I'm not really certain what it is so hopefully this will help. The thing that I picked up was just this little grooming scrubbing mitt thing um, so it just goes on your hand like this and on one side it's kind of got these big I don't know what you call these things here and then on the other side it's got smaller softer sort of ones um, so yeah I picked that up and it's purple, uh, which I wasn't really impressed about, but it was the only one I had because I bought a grooming tote and it's navy and red and white. Uh, but all his other grooming stuff is like blue and there's some purple stuff and there's some wooden stuff. So none of it matches, so it's not a huge deal. Um, but yeah, I picked this up and it was $5.99. Then the last thing I picked up and the thing which I have been wanting to get forever since I have seen other YouTubers raving about them is a grooming tote. So this one is, I don't know what brand it is, oh it's by Roma um, and it is the deluxe grooming bag and it is in navy and red and it comes with six pieces of grooming equipment which I don't even know what they are because I literally just saw this and grabbed it. I did not even realize that it had grooming stuff in it. So it's like getting free stuff. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, yeah, so it's just a round tote and it's got pockets on the sides here and then sort of netting pockets and yeah, all these different kind of little places that you can put all your grooming crap. Um, it's got these two handles and then it's got a bigger carry handle um, on the inside it's got sort of this layer here so you can close the bag um, so you don't lose any of your stuff and then the goodies inside oh look it's got an inside pocket so you can put pens and like a name tag and then put any valuable stuff in here and it looks like it might be waterproof I'm not going to test it out because I don't want to put water in it obviously but it looks like it might be waterproof which is exciting okay so brush one brush one hoof pick this is nice Two body brushes, no, three body brushes. This mini one, this one, and this big one here, which is nice because I only really have one decent body brush, um, and it was expensive. Oh, look, it flexes! 